Mod 9 HD and today I'm going to show you guys how to do because it's been requested by a couple people on a couple of my um, other it being YouTube backgrounds avatars or whatever it may be it has been requested that I go ahead and show you guys exactly how to make neon text so let's just go ahead and type in let's see here neon looks good and basically let's go ahead and do that so we've got the neon sign. Let's go ahead and make it look good. Let's do that right real quick here. Let's uh, get an interesting looking font that may trans into a big font that will look fairly decent. Um, I like this font. It's got like a writing kind of a deal to it. So let's go ahead and use this one. So if we go ahead and we see what it looks like, that's what it's going to look like currently right now. So what we want to do is, we want to obviously have our font, but we want to rotate it back just a little tiny bit, so then it kind of just sits there, stands out. Um, I'm not a big fan of the E, but nevertheless, here we go. So let's go ahead and just start with this normal, everyday green, or any color for that matter. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and use green. Now as you can see, it's not really doing anything, it's basically just sitting there. Um, what we want to put in is we want to obviously have a floor, so then it's got something to reflect off of. So we'll do that. And if you guys don't know how to do any of these floors, um, you don't know how to get a floor or whatever it may be, um, make sure that you guys leave a comment letting me know that uh, you want a tutorial on this kind of stuff. This is more advanced, so anyways, there we go. Rename this. So it says Neon. And, um, yes, so, there we go. Now, what we want to do now, this should look fairly decent now. Yeah, let's make the floor, let's put a nice, nice glimmering background on the floor. We'll make it black so it stands out a little bit more. Um, yes, that looks a lot better. Okay, so, now what we want to do is we want to turn this green into, um, an actual neon glowing look. So the first thing you want to do is instead of messing up, because if we go ahead and edit this one, what's going to happen is it's actually going to edit this one as well. So we go Control C, Control V, that then takes it up to here, and we're now going to edit that one. So let's delete this one, and we're going to take this one and pop it into here. Right? Oh, that's not what we wanted. We want to put it into the actual lettering. All right. So I'll just drop it here, make it easier on us. There we go. Now, so we want to basically double click on it. We've got the reflection. We're going to move that up just a bit. I would recommend probably around 100%. So now let's see what it looks like. So it's got a little bit of a, a, a glimmer to it, but we want to go to basic, glow, color. We want to zoom that up a little bit so it's got more of a in your face. We would bring the brightness down just a bit. Head to the glow. And we want to mess around with these numbers here. Now the inner strength, if we take that to zero, you're going to see it's right here. So let's put that back up. We're going to maybe go that to about 250. The outer strength is obviously, I'll just make that back to zero so you can see what I'm talking about. The outer strength is obviously is going to be the outer uh, circle. So we'll make that 750, make it really, really bright. And we'll do this one about, uh, let's, let's just keep it at 100. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like now. So now we've got that bright neon kind of a look. But it's too solid here in the middle. And we don't want that. So we've got to change that, don't we? So we go back to basic. Click on here. Go to transparency. And then from there, we click on the transparency. And it's way too, way too uh, transparent now. So we want to bring that back just a bit. Just so then you get that nice little glowing effect on it, and there we go. That's looking a little better, but I think it needs to be a little more transparent. So we'll do that one. We'll do refraction, maybe we'll go 50. The brightness there, that looks better. Should look a little bit better. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. So there we go. And we've 
got it on transparency. We want this one to be possibly, you know, more of a green look to it. And maybe brighten up that just a bit. And there we go. That is essentially how we do it. So let's do this. We'll max that right out. We'll go to about uh, 250. And we'll go Control R just to see what it looks like. That's what it would look like if we deleted the color. So it follows the suit. As you can see, the neon is going to be that. If we take it down to, let's say, 25, then it's going to follow suit again. And we're going to have a green outline to it now. A greeny outline to it, as you can see. So we'll go back to transparency. Basic, and we want to go to the, bump it up a little bit. We want to go illumination. Uh, that'd be a little bit too too intense, but if I can show you guys what that would look like, it's going to be way too much. You can see there, nice bright neon. We can obviously change that color as well. We can make it green or red or whatever color it is that you guys would prefer. There you go. So you just go ahead and mess around with it. And uh, I'll show you guys what uh, I've done here with this one. As you can see, this is how I've designed mine. So like that. And then I'm just going to simply add a glow to it. And there we go. Now, if you want to see what's in behind it, we just have to basically just put something behind it. And we're going to do that by duplicating this one, which is Control c Control v and we're going to take out that one, and maybe we want to put in um, a darker color behind. So that way it's got something to bounce off of. So we've, we want to take this and move it back just a little bit, and there we go. Control R. And there we go. We've now got it's now bouncing off the black. But let's say we wanted to put like maybe a blue behind it just to change the color scheme just a little bit. And this is what it would look like. So it's lots of fun guys. You could do what you got us to do. But this has just been basic, a very simple tutorial on how to make your text glow like a neon light. Anyways guys, this has been the Scatter Design HD. Till next time guys, make sure you get that rate, comment, and subscribe and look forward to my 500th subscriber because I will be giving away a 7,000 graphic files in my GFX pack which will include all of these kind of things. So, that's it guys. Till next time. See you later. Peace.